In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a pattern from an image that you've already got that's already got a repeating pattern, maybe already has a background, uh, maybe it's set up as a background. So I'm going to show you how to import that and to create that as a pattern swatch to use on some of your sublimation or all over print designs. everybody, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. I'm creating a playlist of videos on how to create sublimation print for whether you're using this for Printful or something else, but I made a really cool dress using the sublimation print and um, it's up on Printful. So in this series of videos, I'm going to have everything from setting up your Printful account to how to integrate it with Etsy and also different ways to create a sublimation print because there are a few different ways and there might be different um, things you're trying to create. And so I'm going to be creating each in its own separate video. So if you're interested in checking those out, make sure to check out the playlist and and to save it to your watch later or whatever print on demand um, playlist that you may have saved so that you can find it when you need it and I hope you enjoy uh, leave me a comment and let me know uh, what you think of everything make sure when you go to sign up for Printful and Etsy that you use my links down below that uh, lets Printful know that I'm the one that sent you and also on Etsy it gives you 40 free listings so uh, make sure you use those down below I really appreciate it thanks so much so you're gonna open up Illustrator and you're gonna create a new document. Again, I'm using three inches by three inches. I need it to be a square. I'm going to create that. And this is, um, let's say I've got an image that I bought that's already kind of like a background design that I could use. So what you're going to do is go um, to file and then place. You're going to select the image that's been saved like as an EPS file, something that's a good vector. And you're going to it like that. Um, so again, it's got this X on it saying it's living somewhere else or stored somewhere else. So you're going to embed it like this. So now I want my selection tool. I'm going to select the whole thing. I'm going to drag and drop it over in my swatch pattern. I want to make sure that I save it out because I have been known to not save things and lose them. So save that there. Now the next thing I want to do, I can take this out now if I want to, because um, I don't really need this anymore. So I can take that out. I want to see if my pattern works. So I've got a rectangle here. I want to select that. I want to fill it with my pattern. But as you can see, it's only creating them in little squares. Um, so I'm going to double click on my pattern here. And it's going to pull up my pattern options. And what I want to do is select this top size tile to art like that and it's going to kind of join everything together so that way no matter let's see done no matter how large I make a, a rectangle it's going to be seamless so I can take that and it's done for me just like that so let me show you an example of how this is going to work let me open a recent file let's say from my dress pattern and I want to take this one out and take the background because I don't need that. So let me size this 57 to 30 to match my square, a rectangle rather, and put it over here. Align it, please. So I know right now it's blue, but let's say I want to use my swatch pattern that is not the hot dogs. Oh, I want to use my acorns and squirrels. So I need to come over here and remember I saved it. So I want to come to user defined down at the bottom and select the one that says acorn. Is that the right one? And then I select that. And then once again, you can see it's still like that. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is you'll double click this. See, as you can see, it's kind of tiling it. So double click to get the pattern menu to pop up. And of course, if it doesn't, um, then you can go, I'll show you in a second. If it doesn't pop up when you're asking it to, object, pattern, edit pattern, and that will pop it up. And then here you want to size tile to art, and that will make it all seamless. And there you go. So now I'm done. Let me zoom out. 
and you can see like this is my skirt pattern for Printful. Again, if I want, you know, if you're at this point and you're wanting to change the size of this, there's another video, but I can show you real quick. Um, object transform scale, and I want to drop it down, make it, um, well, I want to make it bigger, so I want to make it 300%, let's say, and we would do it like that. So that would make it bigger, but there's a whole other video if you're wondering how to do that. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Don't forget, you guys, I've got two links down below. One is for signing up for Printful, and the other one is to get your 40 free listings for Etsy. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Go down there and leave it a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Was it clear? Did you understand? Or was there something I need to elaborate on? I really appreciate you coming to check it out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.